Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a similar problem that we have also done on the previous video, but in this case we're going to find the second moment of area first relative to the y-axis, then on the next video we're going to do it relative to the x-axis, and then we're going to do it relative to the origin. So we took something that was slightly easier to accomplish, but now we're going to do it in three ways to see how that actually works. So again, we have a small little area element, dA, which is the height minus y times the thickness dx. We're going to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals w. The equation y equals kx squared, we can find k by assuming that when y equals h, x equals w. So k equals h divided by w squared. So now let's find the second moment of area relative to the y-axis. It's going to be the double integral of x squared dA, but you'll see that as we develop the integral, it's simply going to become a single integral. This is going to be equal to the integral of x squared. Instead of dA, we're going to write the quantity h minus y times dx. You can see now we're only integrating over dx, which means we have to replace y by what y is equal to, which is kx squared. So this becomes equal to the integral, and again, it'll be from 0 to w from 0 to w of x squared times h minus, and instead of y we write kx squared times dx. So now we can turn that into two separate integrals. This is going to be equal to the integral, and we can take the h out, so that would be h times the integral of x squared dx from 0 to w, and then minus, the k can be taken out, k times the integral from 0 to w of x to the fourth dx. If we now integrate both of those, we get the following. This is equal to, the first integral is x cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to w, and I can't forget the h, the h needs to be there, minus k times x to the fifth over 5, evaluated from 0 to w. When we plug in the limits, we get the following. Here we get one-third hw cubed minus one-fifth k, that would be w to the fifth power. But now when we substitute what k is equal to, which is h divided by w squared, this becomes one-third hw cubed minus one-fifth, instead of k we write h over w squared, times w to the fifth power. And then you see that w to the fifth divided by w squared is simply w cubed, and so this becomes one-third hw cubed minus one-fifth hw cubed. Now we can combine that by finding the common denominator, which is 15. So this becomes equal to 5 over 15 hw cubed minus, that would be 3 over 15 hw cubed, which is equal to 2 over 15 hw cubed. And this result, we're going to write that down in the upper right corner because we're going to need it in a future video. So what we've discovered, that the second moment of area with respect to the y-axis is equal to 2 fifteens hw cubed. All right, now in the next video, we're going to take the same problem, but now find the moment of area, or the second moment of area, with respect to the x-axis, and you'll see how that's done.